Hello, and welcome to this video on Space Gas with Simple English. This third video will teach you how to add forces to members. A force can be the weight of furniture in a room, or the pressure from a strong wind. Space Gas can calculate what the forces do to the model. The columns and beams will bend and compress. The model can tell us if the columns and beams are strong enough. The special word for the calculation that Space Gas does is called analysis. We will add two forces to our beam in this video. One force in the middle of the beam this will be a force in kilonewtons, and it will act in one place only. This kind of force might come from a column or heavy furniture. The second force will be over the whole beam. This kind of force comes from an area. It could be the weight of concrete above the beam or the weight of people. To add the first force, we can click on Loads, then Member Concentrated Loads, and Data Sheet. We can make a new force of 5 kilonewtons acting down in the middle of the beam. In our model, the Y direction is positive when going up. To make a down force, we need to put a negative sign before the 5. We want the force in the middle of the beam. The middle is 50% along the length of the beam. We can change the units for position here. Our beam is 10 meters long, so if we use actual units, then we can put 5 meters as the distance for the middle of the beam. When we make our first load, Space Gas will ask for a load case. Load cases are used to group loads together or make loads larger and smaller. We will talk about load cases more in a later video. For now, call this load case dead load. To add our second force, we can click on loads then Member Distributed Forces and Data Sheet. We can make a new distributed force, and this time we will use one kilonewton per meter. We want the load to be the same across the whole beam, so we start at 0% and finish at 100%. We put the same number in the start Y force and in the finish Y force. We use the negative sign again because our force will push down on the beam. To see our forces, we can click on the Show Loads button. we can close the legend here. To see the value for our forces, we can click on Labeling, then Show Diagram Annotation, and Both. To change the size of the force diagram, 
we can hold L on the keyboard and move the mouse wheel. Now we have our member and we have some forces. We are ready to analyze the model in the next video.